Hey folks, welcome to the first official episode of the Greater Apes podcast. Uh, the last time was more of a, a trial, and honestly, this is a trial as this we go. Also a trial, yeah. Yeah, we went on for a little bit uh, on this one, and we touched on a number of topics. So my name is Jerry Williams. I'm here with my my friend Jesse Vale. And uh, I'm Jesse Vale, also known as Bino. Uh, if we stick with the Greater Apes, he's the gorilla, I'm the chimp. If you see us in the, I think it'll be pretty obvious. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we went over a bunch of stuff today. Um, yeah. So we were talking about, um, well, you know, Beat Saber and, you know. Beat Saber our... was a lot of what we were talking about. <laughs> yeah, almost but uncomfortably so. Yeah, because yeah. we go into some of the more um, creative elements of movement and uh, the joy of being in uh, a VR environment. Right, and and, and how that kind of, you know, works into movement in other parts of our lives and how we're creative in our in our movement and, yeah. and other things yeah. so that was that was a, a big part of it uh we talked about wandavision of course because that just uh started up just the other day yeah and what we forgot to mention in this intro you can find in the descriptions below also with some spoilers so just be careful uh take yeah. a look at that before you continue watching yeah, and I think I'll, I'll try to put some timestamps in there. We do jump around a good bit. I'll put some time markers in there so you can get to the stuff you want. We don't expect you to sit for two and a half hours, whatever length this ends up being. You might come back and want to get to where you were before. So we'll do yeah. that as well. You're going to want to scroll through the entire thing. And when you see this look on my face, <laughs> probably pretty good bit. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, but with that, we're going to let you uh, get to the show uh, already in progress. Yeah. Enjoy. And his name is Russell, by the way. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, his name is actually Russell. That was his name. <laughs> uh, mm. So, you know what's so funny is uh, here we are talking about all this stuff. And this is kind of what we do. We just go off. But we came here to talk about WandaVision. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, that was what we came here to do. Yeah, yeah. Came here to talk about WandaVision. But, uh, mm-hmm. you know, also, it's been a busy week. So I haven't actually talked to you this week. It's just yeah. one of those things. Yeah. You know, some, you know, and the way things work, I just, just for, you know, people to know that we, in order to try to you know make sure we still talk to each other on a regular basis during all this stuff is that we have uh just a zoom room that we have you know a little uh, um, ongoing meeting that um if i'm just sitting at my desk working and there's no you know ongoing meetings that i have to be on or whatever i'll just open up the room and just continue my work during the day and if he's and available he, he, he opens up he just pops in and we work as if we're just at desks next to each other but we are really distracting to each other. But we tend to be distracting. I, I, <laughs> we yeah, have I not learned yeah. how to get more stuff done. I think oh, yeah. the last I still time get we to, did this, I, you I get actually were getting stuff done. I make sure it's work that's not pressing for time if I, I do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah. But, but I've got a lot of projects on on board. Right. So so a lot of the stuff we're talking about, I, yeah. so I, I, technically it's work. Yeah. No. And a lot of, a lot of my job is sometimes can be busy work. It's like, okay, what you're doing is you're changing all these little illustrations and exporting them to do this such and such. And you're doing all, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's just one of these things. It's like, it's, I have to do the same thing a hundred times in just different ways. Um, I don't even need to use my brain that much anymore. Cause I've already made the palette of colors I need to switch to. I've already, I don't need to think anymore. I just need to work. And so, yeah. you, you know, I was just in. thinking just now, like what kind of work could I get done? I mean, obviously, if I'm working with my hands, uh, you guys can't, you can almost tell if I move my head to it. I'm, I'm in my little tiny workshop, a little sewing table. Oh, you can see my sewing machine almost there. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Try to move real fast to make it show up. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, I can work on stuff, painting and, and that sort of thing. Obviously, I can get done when we're in those meetings. But I'm wondering if some of the best scripts I've ever written were sitting across from uh, Warren, a friend of ours, Warren. Mm-hmm. So that we and so and then he was drawing and I was typing and then I, I was able to stop. You know when you get those points when right. you're writing a script, and you're like, "Does this make sense?" Or what tended to happen is that um, it was almost like I was writing to amuse him, so that I I knew that if every once in a while I'd go, oh "My God, dude, listen to this," and he would laugh, and then I'd get a boost. And I could continue on because there's a script that I need to write that I have not begun. Oh yeah, and I need to write it. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. yep. Let's get it done. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, by the way, I did get. This is nothing to do with anybody, anything. But but I did find um, that script uh, that I was missing. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So I'm gonna send that to you. All right. Excellent. 
Uh, uh, but yes, one division. So, uh, and here we go again. Did you hear us? That's what happens. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. what happens. Uh, one yeah, division. One division. Okay, real quick summary. One okay. division is the new <laughs> sitcom. Uh, from that's that's takes place in the in the MCU. That's a continuation of the story of you know Wanda, the the Scarlet Witch, and Vision, who died during uh, uh, Infinity War. And uh, yeah, it's 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 uh, it's a canon show. It's the first one launched, uh, you know, uh, of the MCU inside uh, the, from the Disney Plus platform and. Mm-hmm. Uh, Real quick, just first impressions. There were, there were two episodes. There were two, two episodes, episodes yesterday. We watched them and back there'll to be back. one every week for the next seven weeks. All right. But, well, okay. So before first impressions, one thing that I want to know, because it, it, it could inform me, is uh, I know this is canon based on the events that happened in Infinity War. But I also know there was a thing. Wasn't there a comic book? See, I did this stuff I don't know. Wasn't there a comic book called WandaVision? Uh, it was a uh, Vision and Scarlet Witch, I think. Got it. Yeah. So Can't they're, they're going to throw back to some of that, right? Because there was, I remember, there was an aspect that I was seeing in the background as, as I'm not reading it, but you know how these things mm-hmm. look in front of our eyes, that there was this Leave it to Beaver feel to some of it, like trying to be a normal family. Yes. Yeah. So they are going to throw back some of that, but maybe just the concept. So uh, as this goes along, I would love to see where this touches. Yeah, I have to go back and read books it. and how. Yeah, I have to go back and read. It's been because that was several years ago. Yeah, uh, I'd be uh, I'd be delighted to read it. Yeah. But so okay, first impression. Um, spooky. Because I know something's wrong. Right. And the way they hit that something's wrong were nice reveals that gave you questions. And I love that feeling. So that was really f- kind of fun to watch. Um, and because this is going to be in such a long form, I think those reveals are going to move differently. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw the preview. So I kind of know how this is going to progress. There's yeah, there 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 are notes you know they're going to get hit because you saw yeah they sold it in the I trailer. I saw it in there. Right. So I kind of went in understanding. Whereas, um, if if I had not seen that and I was going to see one division, it might have been more effective to go. What the hell is this? Mm-hmm. Because it's it's uh, it's it's funny because the notes they were trying to hit there were were many and varied and i thought it was interesting that they did it because they put um the dick van dyke show set yep with i love lucy camera quality Mm -hmm. that first episode yeah yeah and the first episode um and there was another one it was um i wrote it down no, three different styles. So it's it. So that I don't think leave it to Beaver because that's more about the child. Right. It was, but there was a third show that I that I said, oh, they're referencing this too, and I can't remember. Well, they're definitely there's definitely Bewitched. Bewitched. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Bewitched. Yeah. Right. Which I thought. I don't know why I put candy in my mouth just now, but I did. And. <laughs> um. I don't know why. Okay, it's obvious why they referenced it because she's a witch. Uh, or it's called the witch. Right. She has magical powers. Yes. But it came in too soon. You think so? I do. Because. But there's no way around it. Yeah. They had to embrace it because that's what she is. Right. But the era for Bewitched was wrong. The look of it was wrong. Um, I did enjoy. They, well, they, they they got more toward Bewitched when they got to the second episode. They did. Yeah. With um, the boss? But, but that, that was the first episode. Was yeah. The but in terms of moving eras-wise, so yeah. yeah era-wise. So they had a they had a Bewitched-like character. Mm-hmm. A couple of them. Because, because uh, Catherine Hahn, who's just awesome, the neighbor. Mm-hmm. 
I, I love her and everything she does. Um, I mean, she's totally what's it, Gladys Kravitz from Bewitched. You know, she's like the neighbor. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. but uh, so I mean, she was in there too. But yeah, so the first episode was really in terms of like stylistically, it was the I Love Lucy Dick Van Dyke show. Sec but they had Bewitched characters in there. But they had uh, Bewitched characters in there. Yeah. But, but I then the second really episode, fun. second episode was more Bewitched stylistically. One, they took it outside. You started seeing a little more, you know, some more scope. And that's what, you know, that's, that's and the a color little bit. Got, and the color got bright. I, I think it, what they're doing, yeah. just first impressions, totally impressed with the quality. Right. And I don't know if it was their intention, but I felt that it worked. That when she broke out. Blunk out, yeah. Of it that the camera angles and the color became more modern just for those just a little bit, uh -huh. just a little bit. And I don't know if that was just because they needed a close up shot because mm -hmm. that's something new. You don't see close up shots like that. Right. At, at, at striking angles. Like when she was, when she found the helicopter, for instance. Right. Oh yeah. And well you did, but not, that was more, you saw those type of things on twilight zone and outer limits. Oh, you know, that's right. that, those were more Twilight Zone out. You know, the Twilight you're Zone out limits gave you those things. Right. So it was a mix. You had like the still camera thing going on, oh. but when they got weird, when they had to, they moved into like Twilight that's Zone outer limits. I did not pick up on that, but I see type, it type of thing. Totally. Um, it yeah. was it was a trip. Um, yeah. But what I did like also, um, in terms of like when she came out of it, sometimes a couple times they didn't like when uh, when they first. In the first episode, when they asked about um, um, about their history, they were asked about it, and then they they and had they a hard time know. with it, right? Um, they didn't immediately focus on on her not being, you know, her kind of coming out of it. They mm -hmm. kept the wide shot where you had your um, the person that was sitting there. here, person here, vision here, and her here, kind of small, just kind of looking toward the camera, you know. And so even though she wasn't big, she, you stood, you drew, it drew you into her because she was almost looking right at you, but not expressing anything. And it was just a really good way of kind of minimizing it, yet at the same time, giving it a better sense of dread and because that's, not yeah, supposed to be looking at you. That's the spookiness. That's yeah. the spookiness I'm yeah. talking about. And I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Now, um, the things I was able to pick up from uh, outside interference. Okay. Right? There are at least two different logos that I am not familiar with. Okay. Which ones? One is on the helicopter. Sword? The, the toy helicopter. Yeah, the circle with the sword. Yep. And then there's another logo on the back of the beekeeper. Yeah, I don't I didn't see what the logo is, but the beekeeper. Okay, so first sword. Uh sword is like the was like the space version of shield. I don't know if they're gonna it basically um in the last, was it Spider Man? When was it when um, Nick Fury was on the spaceship at the end? Cap, oh. what was that? Was that Spider Man? I think it was. Um, so that was like, Sword was supposed to be like them watching aliens. That's originally it was like there was Shield, which was about like, <laughs> what, you know, taking care of like you know security on Earth, and Sword was um, like other extra extraterrestrial beings coming to Earth. Right. So um, it was it was the natural formation of uh, our extension of shield once we really understood that there were aliens. Yeah. So yeah, there's the a, there's, a, there's the shield and the sword. Right. And so uh, whether or not it represents the same thing here, you know, as, as a, we originally thought it was going to be about aliens, but it might just be about, you know, super weapons, you know, right. super weapon, something, something, you know, whatever. Uh, right. So that's yeah, that was sword. Uh, and then the beekeeper, I, I don't remember what the logo was. Do you remember what it looked like? It was, it was like a circle and it had. Cause I could look it up, but, like but almost like a, Ooh, that didn't work. Okay. You, you know, because it had, it was, it was, it wasn't. Cause there's a, there's an organization in, uh, in the Marvel universe. And I think they, they brought, they mentioned it briefly in like Iron Man two, I think. Uh, and it was, um, advanced idea mechanics aim. Right. Mm -hmm. And, 
I think they mentioned it in Iron Man too. But the the outfits they wore were mm-hmm. basically like yellow beekeeper outfits. Advanced what? Idea, mechanics. I think. Okay. Aim. Uh, I'm gonna put logo in. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah. They look yeah. exactly like beekeepers. Yeah, except for they had like wrecked more They're taller square. Things. Right. Huh. So I'm putting logo so that I can see what that. Yeah, is. I don't know. I can't. I think their logo was just like an egg, you know, something. So they no, might be it's doing just so, literally their name. That's yeah. It. Uh. So so when I see the beekeeper outfit, so I see that being maybe she, whatever situation she's really in, had to do with people in the aim outfits, but that makes no sense to her. So her brain's processing it as like a beekeeper outfit, you know? Okay. And so this thing now, is, this thing is showing up a, and she's like, no, I don't want to deal with that. And she re- rewinds things. You know? Yeah. So, and that was an interesting thing here because that, the, uh, okay. Well, first of all, uh, aim is our bad guys. Yeah. They're bad guys. They were like, okay. they were most, they were, they were Iron Man bad guys. They were like, okay. you know, anti Stark people. Okay. All right. So, um, they were pure science. Um, we don't, you know, it's like one of those things like, Oh, we don't care about like human testing. We'll do testing on anybody as long as we get to what we need to get to, you right. know, okay. whatever idea the, we'll do. They were the unethical science yeah. organization. Yeah. So, so her disguising or her maybe seeing them as beekeepers because that's what her psyche is telling her to do. Right. As, as either just a, to, to explain it to herself or to protect herself. I don't know which um, her rewinding was the thing that screwed me up a little bit because going into this, I thought this is Wanda in, in a schizo break. Mm-hmm. She couldn't handle vision's death and she finally went mad. And this is the consequences. And now we're going to see her move out of this thing. But then the voices Mm -hmm. asking Wanda, who is doing this to you? Right. That I flipped and I said, okay, somebody has control of Wanda. Right. So So so, what is that? So the second she was able to rewind, I thought, well, no, it's her then. Right. So (laughs) I don't know what's going on. so we we have to assume that the the very end of the first episode um where someone is watching this on a tv and taking notes yeah is a real thing because at first it could have just been like a throwaway kind of thing you know right right um but you 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 had that tv you know the the show they kind of pull back and you watch someone watching it on tv taking notes and clicking now according to the credits the person who's doing that voice uh, was Randall Park. Okay. Randall Park has been, I was like, oh, it was Randall Park. Oh, well, Randall Park was an FBI agent uh, in Ant-Man and the Wasp. He's, he's a uh, former S.H.I.E.L.D. agent that became an FBI agent. Got it. In, 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 in Ant-Man and the Wasp. So, okay. And they don't do weird casting like that unless he, so he's, he's, he's Jimmy Woo. He is Jimmy Woo. That care. with the FBI, or maybe he's with sword. Maybe he went from being shield to shield, being FBI, FBI to, sword. to sword. Got it. And so, so that ties it to, you know, to some other organization. Got it. Um, so, so that's so someone, once I learned that's who that was, cause it's in, in the credits, it's like, okay, all right. So someone is trying to break through. Yeah. So either someone has, has a hold of her and is trying to probe her for information and, 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 put scenarios in her head and watch how she works them out so they can pull, you know, whatever, you know, which Uh, is what aim would do, right? Aim would capture somebody with these powers Mm -hmm. and put them through a situation to see what comes out of it. Right. That's what they would do. That's what they would do. So So that is my assumption then. And I will go back and look as I'm sure you will. My assumption is then that's an aim. uh, That's my assumption at the moment. Yeah. That's an aim thing. Yeah. Um, so what do you think? All right. Just like throw it out there. What do you think is happening? Like what you, what you, before you even started watching the show, you were like, Oh, this must be this. What was your first? Well, no, when, 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 before, before I started watching the show, I was completely of the, um, like in the comics when, uh, her, her and the vision had some kids and I can't remember how, but they were killed. Um, she, 
she broke, all right? Um, and so she recreated a whole universe that was called, that was the House of M series, uh, uh, where she kind of brought them back. She just, she just made a new universe where they were still alive. Um, Got it. I do which remember. which I saw online that apparently one of the wine bottles actually says uh, house of something but starts with an M in French. Ooh, um, the wine um, so that's so my original thought was okay she had a break and she's changed the she's changed things so that this can happen. It's like a pocket universe she made and it might still be that she may have made a pocket universe and they're trying or they may have forced her to do so uh, because I also know that this is supposed to tie in to uh eventually into the doctor strange and the multiverse of madness movie mm -hmm. uh, which is supposed to also tie into the next spider-man movie got it um so so multiverse stuff happening so this could still be a pocket universe thing that she's made uh, but if she, and if she's made it she has full control over it well she has some type of control over it um obviously she can rewind, she can rewind. Um, or maybe she doesn't have control over it and the fact that when she noticed what that thing was, whatever it was, and it was taking her out of it, whoever did have control over rewound it so that that didn't happen and gave her a slightly different scenario so that it wouldn't go the way it was going to go. Right. Yeah. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, I was still on the, the kind of... Um, I uh, like, like maybe that guy coming out of the thing, he like entered the room she was in and he wasn't supposed to be there. Wasn't supposed to be there, or yeah, kind a subroutine, a, a program, you know, a subroutine program or something happened. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, so right now, yeah, I'm I'm of the mind that she's being she's being manipulated in order to get uh, to unlock the whatever the the power that she gained because of the the the, the mind stone that she you know that she was given. She was manipulated with because um, I know it's going to progress forward. Was given how come I can't remember that. Well, she, um, her powers came from, supposedly, came from uh, Baron Strucker, which is, you know, they had the whole Strucker Technologies thing, commercial. Uh, in um, Age of Ultron, uh, they had been using the power of the, the scepter to manipulate their genes um, and give them powers. Yeah. Got it. And so that's right, what she, right. they, they got it. Right. How that works, they, they may figure out a way of it's like, you know what? You can't just manipulate genes like that and get powers like that. They had some inherent thing and then we start introducing mutants, you know? Right. Maybe they just unlocked a mutant gene or something like that. Because they need to introduce mutants somehow anyway. Right. Uh, so, yeah. So I'm still of the mind of that. Uh, I'm, I'm artistically, I, 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 I love the fact whoever the showrunner is, the creator of the show, I don't recognize his name. Um, loves TV. Mm -hmm. uh, really, pre you know, really appreciates, you know, you know, kind of classic TV, not just like, Oh, this is, this will be a cute thing to do. Um, it's like, no, he actually understands how some of the mechanisms work in classic TV. It's For like, instance, yeah. the chair that vision did not trip over when he walked into that room. Right. That was straight Dick Van Dyke. Straight Dick Van Dyke. Dick Van Dyke falls over it. And then he skips around it with his little jaunty step. Right. Right. In this case, he, he, goes, walked. he walked, walked right through it. Through it. Yeah. Uh, but also in terms of like the, the writing, you know, the, 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 the beats, the, the corniness to the jokes um, that were the proper type of corny. Cause yeah. You know, and I'm curious as to how other generations who didn't grow up on reruns of those things. Mm -hmm. um, Cause like, it's like, yeah, I'm not from that time, but after school that's what was on tv yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know it's like so you're, you're and, wondering and your mom was off at work here. your mom was doing something my mom was parents were doing off doing things so we were home watching tv and we were absorbing all these old shows yeah because that's what we're running <laughs> right. and uh, yeah because those are the ones that we're rerunning um so whoever you know is doing this has a real appreciation for those things because he's not they're not just mocking those shows no they're taking the joy the, yeah, the things that we liked about it, right? Yeah, and and laughed even the corniness because we're just like, oh my god, I can't believe they're doing it. like I love Lucy stuff. Oh yeah, when you saw that happening, those little asides and yeah. I don't know what about it's just like so the the seeds of a sitcom, right, right, mm -hmm. right, and they were personality driven shows, so it's like that might be a corny thing to do, but seeing Lucy do it is awesome, right. 
right? Right. Um, you know, and and just like and same with Mary Tyler Moore and things like that. So that so they're yeah they weren't making well, and, fun of that stuff. No, and including for instance a situation in where his boss is coming to the house, and he has to impress him. Right. He fails to do so utterly. And she somehow, through her magic, through her magic, right, makes it the best ad campaign ever. How many times was that? Yeah, the oh, plot. Rob. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that was that was really fun. I like so that. so I'm so I'm also looking. So I'm looking for the progression of that because um, in the poster, at least one of the posters, there's like there's like a bunch of TVs, and I'm one of them looks kind of like a Mod Squad looking thing, okay. where. It's like, okay, the, the, the black woman's got like a fro and looks like she's got like a badge on her hip. And so I'm like, okay, okay. we're getting into like the 70s stuff over there. Right. Uh, so I'm looking forward to, to, to that. And um, that reminds me of something just, and I'll continue on, but there's something that I think that they missed out on. What's that? Okay. Well, so um, obviously we live in a modern time uh, and we have become more progressive we're, we're not there yet, but we're making steps, right? And we're better at it than we ever have before. So colorblind casting doesn't actually exist, but the illusion of colorblind casting uh, is a reality in our life. Right. Right. Um, so they included, so, so this is like a, like a Doctor Who where they go back in time and there's prevalent black people and it's just like, okay, this is Doctor Who universe that happened. Right. Or he's walking with a black woman and not everybody's trying to like, what yeah, the hell yeah, are you yeah. doing dressed in that sort of situation? They just sort of, they don't write that in. That's not a reality. Right. And that's what they're doing here. Right. There are uh, prominent black people, prominent, prominent Asian people. Uh, I, I think there's some Latinx people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. yeah and there's, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, and, and so I go, Oh, great. So that happens. And, 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 and my brain tells me, Oh, good. It's like a Doctor Who universe where this doesn't matter because it doesn't matter. But I think in terms of a commentary, I think they missed out on something because I think because she's she's traveling through them pretty rapidly. Uh -huh. I would have loved it if in the earlier ones, it was all white casted. Mm -hmm. But as it progressed... Well, so you're here, some and, of those and I, characters who they've established the names of uh -huh. become people of color. Right. Well, when what, they what did in real I life, like in the seventies, more black people were right. in shows. Yeah. So. yeah. When 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 he went to the uh, in the most the first noticeable, really noticeable one is when he went to uh, the uh, the library or whatever for the neighborhood watch oh the neighborhood watch that he was in yeah it yeah. was like what three of the six people were black in this scene <laughs> yeah but and see but, it was jarring but then you but, but yeah. then you you but the, but the reason go, okay, the reason i think this and the reason i don't have much of an issue with it i don't have I an have issue a, with it i just think it's well, a missed i think i think it's being i think all this stuff all these scenes this city is being populated by people she actually knows got it that she's actually met Got that it. they're actual people that have been placed in there. So, for example, uh, when uh, Anya, I'm blanking on her real name, uh, <laughs> the the um, Emma uh, Caulfield, yeah, Caulfield, yeah. Uh, Emma. Uh, when in the second episode, when she briefly comes out of it and says, you know, you know, what are you, mm -hmm. or who are you? I can't remember. So, who are you or what are you? When there's a there's there's that break, because I think she's a real person. Um, and so, but she somehow has also been placed in that situation. Um, that so that's sense. why I think, so when we evolve, then we finally, you know, eventually get out of that. Those people will be people will exist. who are of the modern time and have been put in there. Yeah. Got it. So okay. So that's that makes perfect they, sense. Yeah, if that's, that's what, the way it is, then yeah, yeah there's no other and way. And also the other thought was, even if they're not real, if it's being populated by her, she's of today. She populates them. True. The way her mind is. True. Yeah. But now, if she was actually going a, back to Pleasantville, if she was actually, you know, going back to that kind of time, it's right. like, oh, no, no, no. There's, <laughs> there's yeah. a whole white folks. You see what I mean by shumble. how that would be just yeah. a nice, subtle thing to happen in the background. Now, whether right. or not, it, or because it didn't happen in the show, doesn't mean that I think the show is any less. Right. I just sort of think, like, isn't that an interesting concept to consider? Right. Um, 
and I, yeah, I still believe that. I just think like, yeah, how yeah. cool would it be if like her neighbor, even though we love that actress, I didn't, I don't know her. Catherine so Hahn, uh, it, yeah. So obviously she's still stick around. Freaking brilliant. Yeah, so, she's, but, yeah. But you see how it would have been pretty jarring and kind of a really interesting thing to happen as a concept is uh -huh. if this neighbor eventually changed races. Right. I just thought that would be an interesting yeah. thing. So, but kind of, I, kind of, but I'm not of, bothered that it didn't kind happen. of bewitch style just recast people. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. If if those characters weren't this, because there's another one, right? It would just be if 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 Bellamy wasn't Vision, right, right, and and halfway through he was another actor <laughs> just because. Come on, how much would we have laughed? That'd be hilarious. Um, but no, oh, but it. but yeah, just 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 summing sum it up. Not necessarily stopping the topic, but I'm I'm impressed by the show. Um, I'm I'm actually glad that this was supposed to be the second show to come out. The first show to come out was supposed to be Captain America. I mean, um, a Falcon and Winter Soldier, mm -hmm. which is which I have a feeling is going to be a lot darker show and much more. I mean, I think it's still supposed to be kind of a, a comedy to a certain degree because those guys are you know kind of adversarial but it's going to be more action driven and you know yeah. and intriguey and and given the fact that our world is so kind of <laughs> dark right now having this like international caper um you know who will take the mantle of captain america type of you know intrigue going on yeah maybe it's not the best time um so the, the fact that this is a little more this is more lighthearted, there's still darkness to it i mean it's it's a it's still a dark show it's a dark comedy even but it it's it's um but it's 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 taking notes of things we loved in the past of past TV, mm -hmm. and kind of embracing them, and then putting a spin on it for you know for this new entry. Right. Um, I think it's I think it's a real it's a good step out of the box for them. Um, and uh, I hear that the next episode's probably a half hour, but then after that they start going just like more like Mandalorian in terms of just like it is how long it is. Right. Um, so hopefully there'll be a little bit longer episodes because the first one was like twenty seven minutes and this one was like thirty five minutes, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was something that I noticed. I wanted more, mm -hmm. and I mean that's good to feel now. I, and I think remember, the, for the used, first ones, they were going, they were going sitcom, sitcom thirty minutes, right? They're going yeah. bing, you know, wow. Yeah. Um, but I think as they branch out of that, probably they'll, they'll probably start breaking that fourth wall more and getting into so, something more modern. So actually, speaking of breaking the fourth wall, um. They only cut to commercial once each episode. Yes. And the same two actors were involved. <laughs> same two actors, yeah. <laughs> so do we know who they are? Or could not they? yet. Yeah. I not yeah, not that not that I do not I do not uh, they don't look familiar to me. I mean they you know, they look familiar because they just kind of like they're kind of like common looking folks. Um, but the fact that the first note of color was during that first commercial, mm -hmm. that red flash and the mm -hmm. that the the that uh ticking clock was so ominous yeah <laughs> that ticking timer was so om ominous uh and that and then that these that those court those commercials are also referring to of like your mental state as something like ease your mind mm -hmm. and um and the other one was like uh it gives you time it you know it was like time. Yeah, you know yeah. so to relax yeah, yeah 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 so yeah interesting uh so I'm sure those are little puzzle pieces that'll be put together. And, um, but I honestly, the set design, awesome. The color palette, when they went color, I'm like, that's brilliant color. Oversaturated, you know? Yeah, you know, that really, yeah. It was so cool to watch. A little watch too much. <laughs> that, that little, you know, they didn't, you know, when they did the helicopter and all that kind of stuff, that was more like regular color. But when they went into color TV, it's like, oh yeah, turn those lights up, <laughs> you know, and 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 crank the, uh, the saturation on there. So he was a little too, a little too purple, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I thought that was uh that was well done. Yeah, yeah. So, so these drop on what day? Friday. They it's Ma show. it's Mandalorian twelve oh one. Okay. <laughs> you, know, why you you watched it at six a.m. I watched it at six a.m. Just woke up in the morning and yeah, you know, I get up I get up to to do do the bike anyway, and so I just didn't do the bike that morning. I just watched an hour of that, you know. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, what did Bob think? She liked it. What's that? Oh yeah, she yeah she yeah she she enjoyed it yeah she she's, and, she's you know, she was cracking up because she loves those old TV shows too yeah, so yeah, she was just cracking was up say. she's more yeah. in tune with those old TV shows yeah. than and, I and and like I said and and Catherine Hahn we've seen her in so many, in many different things so once I saw that she was in it I knew I was gonna love it because she's like that 
that's how she acts a lot for other characters. She's very much of the, like, the thin man, uh, uh, bringing up baby, you like snappy, you know, madcap comedy from the from the forties type of actress. She's really she's like she was meant to be written by, by like uh uh, uh what's the West Wing guy? Um, oh, like the that yeah guy. him yeah you know but that kind of really quick wit delivery she's great at it so that just kind of like oh and blah, 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 and do this with your meat that's she's a natural at it and, and and so for her you know so watching her do it it's like oh yeah just give her something to say and she'll just rattle it off she's so good at it yeah and her yeah. face is just a cartoon it's yeah it was marvelous yeah to so. the point that uh you you know that um i, I don't think I, it, it's never come up in conversation but there is a uh a characterization that exists in the world that i hate and that's the next door neighbor right the other nosy neighbor or yeah, never like the nosy yeah i never like that character wherever uh -huh. it occurs uh-huh not even if they're nosy just ones that are clueless right or ones that are uh even if they're friendly it's just that they're always there i don't know there's something about it that leaves a bad taste in my mouth um uh, and it didn't occur so much with her yeah. no, because I saw that she was a caricature of it and I could appreciate that they really gave her some stuff yeah. to chew on. And, and, and given that I know, you know, where this is going to a certain degree in terms of like, you know, how reality will creep in. She also is a really scary actress. She plays like, she's also good at playing that kind of really imposing, impressive lawyer. Oh, you know, so. I'm looking forward to that switch, you know, of, of when, she, when reality creeps in and she's, she has to, you know, she has to break character because like, um, she has really good range. I'm looking forward to that. Speaking of range, it was great to see Bellamy act, act a fool. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, uh, uh, Bellamy, Bellamy, Bet yeah, isn't that his, Ben, what is his name? It's Bettany. I said Bellamy. Yeah. It's Bettany. Bettany. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. Uh, but to to see him, you know, mm -hmm. in normal face, and I, honestly, I just just I don't know whose brilliant idea. I mean, when when they cast him as Jarvis, and when when Josh said he's going to have ultra, you know, he's going to have Ultron, and he's going to have the Vision, and he said, well, if I was going to cast the Vision, it would be Paul, you know, Paul Bettany, Bettany. and Bettany. there you go. It's like perfect. It was just perfect casting, you know, yeah. as as a uh, as a uh, Jarvis. Um, so uh, to see him be able to have that kind of to show that range, that kind of goofiness that you know that he normally you wouldn't see from. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen him in anything that was yeah. like comedic. Yeah, yeah, he's done. He's done more. I've never seen him do a goofy comedy. I've seen him do other roles that are more rangy than the Vision. I mean, Vision is not very rangy. No. <laughs> Even though there was comic, you know, the way he, I watched uh, Age of Ultron again the other day, the way he was written, Joss gave him some really good comic timing lines. He played him straight and that's made him funny. But right. uh, the fact that he was given that kind of range to just be a goofball and all that kind of stuff was. was Jack the Drunkard well, was really fun. <laughs> yeah. It was really fun. I love the little cartoon cutaway. The little cartoon cutaways, which oh, is like really. Just like, so delightful to me yeah, yeah. because, you know, that's the kind of shit I like. I like it when they show something that's happening and then they show it mechanical where it should obviously be biological or it's <laughs> right. biological and it should obviously be right. mechanic. That that reminds me of Warner Brother cartoon. Right. And that's thing. the kind and that's the kind of but it's also that's the kind of trope that they would use for something like that. Or mm -hmm. they would have a they'd have a wooden thing and they'd have like a puppet of a gum drop going down the <laughs> down the thing, you know. Yeah. But yeah. that's what they would, that's the kind of thing they would do. Yeah, just have a little cartoon like it would be in a commercial and have it go. Yeah. Doo, 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 doo. It, was, it was brilliant. It was, it struck great notes on those kind of things. So then, so then real quick, because I know we, we should sum this up. This is a really long video, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a long but one. There's some, sure. Yeah, but there's something that occurred to me in terms of, um, however it's, it's done, she's in an alternative universe. Yeah, in one way or another, either, one either, way or another. Virtually, either virtually or real, and they're just monitoring okay, it, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and there are characters that populate it. Um, 
I believe you're correct that these would be characters that exist outside, that she's populated because she knows them, which makes me wonder, are they all good? Right. Because some of them might not be because Wanda doesn't know they're not. Right. Yeah. The next door neighbor Absolutely could possible. be, like you were saying, like she's played a hard ass mm -hmm. in other roles. Right. It could be really jarring yeah. that her best friend next door neighbor, the helpful one, right. in reality is, is one of the scientists working on it. One of the scientists. That would be really bizarre. Yeah. Some of these reveals I think are gonna feel like uh Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I hadn't thought about that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so the other question is it's like, okay, well, where does where does vision fit in all this? And does vision exist? Because he yeah. doesn't. Yeah. So yeah, where does he fit in all this? Are we going to, or is this a pocket universe where then he gets drawn out of it? You know, who that's knows? exactly what I was just thinking. Yeah. Is that the point of this? Yeah. To fully form vision. To pull out of the universe. Yeah. Don't know. That could be the whole reason. Yeah. But it, you know, but it's also, a, you know, it's, you know, it's a great mechanism for character development mm -hmm. in terms of just evolution. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, it's like, oh, okay, well, we can have this guy who's kind of wooden and, he, you know, he's, you know, obviously he's, he loves this, you know, this other character, but, you know, he hasn't had time to, to experience life much. And so, you know, we need to somehow make him, you know, flesh him out as a character. You know, you can have this kind of stuff happen to him and then have him come out of it as like, hey, a fully formed, you know, you yeah, know, you know, just like whoop, go through the process. You know? Well, I'll tell you, that's what I kind of hope. Yeah. That's why you see. That's yeah, yeah. I'd I'd like to not be done with Vision because I want Vision back. Yeah, that's right. I really want yeah. Vision back because yeah. I. That's such a fascinating character. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, and I don't think it would take. It won't take away from his death at all. It's like you know, it's, you know, it if it's done right, you can bring people back. I don't like the trope of just you know killing people off because it's dramatic and then just eh, we never saw the body, so they're they're not dead. Um, right. But uh, but it happens. But it happens. Um, and so bringing him back, you know, do you bring Quicksilver back? What happens with Quicksilver? You know, right. Oh, you know, do they bring, oh, I've seen no it, sign. I've seen no sign that he's involved in this show in the slightest, but, but if, if she's in that sort of state, right. that would be someone she would create. Yeah. You know? So, right. Yeah. You would think, but again, but you can see how I hope that I hope that would uh, be a really interesting see, thing to see. Mm -hmm. Um, and I hope it's her you know, her brother from out of town. Right. That's the thing right. that's happened in those shows, right? right? My brother's coming to town and then there's this whole mix up because of the brother in town and his personality mixing with all the other people right. that they normally interact with, that sort of thing. That would be really interesting to see. Now, um, but again, because this is something that, that was on my notes that I really wanted to ask about, uh, at least to inform me again, because I I've forgotten some of it. I was trying to remember and maybe to inform some of the viewers here the origin of a vision now if i'm not mistaken vision is one of the oldest characters that's existed in that universe he was just under another name well well there's the there's the there's the marvel comics universe and then there's the marvel cinematic universe so right so in, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we've seen his entire origin. Right. Yeah. But, we, but we've, it's, we've seen it all. Right. So I guess, yeah. So that is. And, but it was one of these things that in the, in the, and it's, they can always tie it a little bit, but in the, uh, in the comics universe, there's a tie. Uh, there's a tie in to the, the Cinematic Universe. Because if you go back to uh, Captain America, First Avenger, mm -hmm. when they went to the, uh, the, the, the world's fair or whatever, you know, where they did the big, the big expo mm -hmm. and yes. they were kind of, they were going through, there was, there was the person who, you know, there was the body inside of the tube that was, I can't remember what they called him, the, 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 our, the something automated man or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that was, uh, that was Toro, I think. Toro, uh, right. The like the or it was either Toro or just the original Human Torch in the comics. Original, I think it was the original yeah, Human Torch. Original Human Torch becomes Toro. Yeah. Um. So he right? was a uh, but he was an android, yeah. and so in the comics, you know, that body stays around, <laughs> right. and so 
Uh, it gets imbued with the, the psyche of Simon Williams, the Wonder Man plus uh, Ultron's stuff that he puts in there with Hank Pym. Yeah. And it becomes Vision. So, yeah, it's got an old, you know, yeah, he's like one of the first superheroes, just in a new, you know, just like new, same body, just, you know, new, new casing, you know. Yeah, new, uh, yeah. New, new, new participant. Really. New psyche. Thank but, you. uh, yeah, so, but in the MCU, that body was fully formed there, you know, in that chamber, in that chamber uh, during right, uh, Age, right. of, Age of Ultron. Yeah, and I see no reason why they would throw back. Now yeah. that I think about it. But it was just a, uh, I needed a reminder. Toro yeah. was what I was thinking, uh, the thing I forgot. That, well, was it, was it, because there was Human Torch, and I think Toro might have been his little assistant, might have been his Robin, like his sidekick, I can't Toro. Remember. I can't remember. Yeah. Sorry, I can't remember all my 1940s comics characters. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this video went on a little bit longer than we thought but uh this is the way these conversations go uh yeah, just like jerry was saying about like uh the <laughs> the mandalorian how it's as long as it is and then it's done that's yeah. kind of what we're doing here it would be nice if we could fit things into a nice little package but he and i have never been good at that but yeah um so i think we're going to be starting a new channel with this so i don't know what channel this is on but please like and subscribe um and hit the little notification button we're going to try to put these out on a weekly basis and maybe even more often than that if we give a little tidbits here yeah, and if there's things that need to be said or done or right. if these things end up being so long that maybe we'll just chop them up into <laughs> right. like part two, <laughs> an hour, hour and a half breaks or something yeah. like that. Yeah, that might um, happen this time. We'll find out. Yeah, maybe. If I have no yeah. idea. This might be two hours long. Oh, it's it's two hours long. Yeah, I, I guarantee you, it's two hours long because oh. we got some good stuff in here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but please uh, put your comments uh, down on the page. Uh, any questions you have for us? Um, things you'd like to hear us talk about? Um, things you'd like to know about us? Um, you know, we'll you know pretty much ask us anything. If we if we don't want to answer it, we won't answer it. So there you go. Yeah, oh. yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I didn't. What? What comment was that? I didn't yeah, that's, that's the way it is. But, um, but no. Thanks for the conversation, and thanks for stopping by, folks. And we will see you next time. All right. Take care. Bye, buddy. Bye. <laughs>